Hello and welcome back to our channel. This video is a tutorial on Hello Sign for beginners. In this video, we will talk about the Hello Sign platform and how to use it. So, watch this video till the end to better understand Hello Sign. Hello Sign is used by individuals and businesses to get documents signed online quickly, easily, and securely. There are four different membership plans on Hello Sign. The first one is the Essentials plan, which comes at $20 per month. And if you subscribe annually, you will get it at $15 per month. The second plan is called the Dropbox Professional Plus eSign plan, which comes at $31.99 per month. But if you subscribe annually, you will get it at $24.99 per month. The third plan is called the Standard plan, which is at $30 per user per month. And if you subscribe annually, you will get it at $25 per user per month. And lastly, there is the premium plan for which you will need to contact the customer support team on HelloSign. To use HelloSign, you need an account. For this, click on the Sign Up button on the top of the page. After successfully signing up, you will be taken to the dashboard. This is your dashboard. On the top left corner, you will see two buttons, which are Sign Documents and Bulk Send. In the left sidebar, you will see five tabs, which are Home, Templates, Documents, Teams and Integrations. Under the Home tab, you will see two options, which are Sign or Send and Create a Template. If you're using the free membership plan, you can only send three documents every month for free. Now let's demonstrate for you how to send a document for signature. Click on the Signed or Send button. Now on this page, use this Upload File button to select a document for uploading. Alternatively, you can use your Dropbox, Google Drive, Box, Evernote or OneDrive account or you can also drag and drop your file here. After selecting your document, you will see the document here. You can upload multiple documents and after uploading all the documents, they will all be seen here. In case of multiple documents, you can drag and drop to reorder them and then finally click on the next button. Now on the next page, you need to specify who has to sign the document or documents. Enter the signer's name here and then enter their email ID here. From the three dots here, you can request attachments from the signer, whether it is their ID proof or any other document. You can add as many as signers to your document as you want. To add a second signer, click on the Add Another Signer button here and follow the same steps as we had shown earlier. In case of multiple signers, if you want to assign an order to the signers, enable this Signer Settings button and then drag the signers in their order. Once you have entered all the signers and have arranged their order, Click on the next button. Now on this page, you need to add fields to your document. From the left sidebar, you can select the signer from this drop-down menu and you can use these fields for your document. From the signer fields, you can use the signature and the initials fields. From the autofill fields, you can use the date signed, name, email, company and job title fields. From the standard fields, you can add the text box and the checkbox fields. In the center, you will see the uploaded document. From the right sidebar, you can select your document in case of multiple documents. And if you want to add more documents, click on this plus icon. You can upload another document from your computer, Dropbox, Google Drive, Box, Evernote or OneDrive account. Now let's demonstrate for you how you can add signers to your document and how to place fields. Firstly, select your signer from this drop down menu and click on the field that you want to place. We're selecting here the signature field. As you can see, the field becomes highlighted once selected. Now come to the document page and over here, click on the area where you want to place a field and it will be added to the document. You can also drag and drop it to your desired area 
and drag it from its corners to resize it. After placing the signature field, you can use the right sidebar to assign it a signer, enable or disable it as a required field, and from here you can rename the field. If you want to delete the field, click on this delete icon. You can also use the delete button on your keyboard for this. Generally, signatures are done with a date, so let's try placing the date here. Click on the date signed field in the left sidebar and then click on the document page somewhere near the signature field or any other place as you want. The date field will be added there and you can see it in the month, date and year format. From the right sidebar, assign the signer and from here you can change the font and its size and from here you can rename this field. To assign fields for a second signer selected from this drop down menu, you will notice that the highlighted color for the fields will change. Repeat the same process we have shown for adding the signature and the date signed fields. Here on the document, you can see that the highlighted color of the fields for both the signers are different. This will help you easily recognize the different fields if you have multiple signers. And once you are done placing all the required fields to your document, click on the next button at the bottom right corner. This is the review page of your document. From here, you can verify the signers. If anyone else has to receive a copy of this document, then you can add a CC recipient here. This is the message to signers section. Enter the document title here and enter your message here, which is an optional field. Once you have verified all the fields, click on the send for signature button here and your document will be sent to the signers. Here you can see the status of your document and the time at which the status was updated. If the signer has not signed your document till a certain period, you can use this email reminder button to send them a reminder about signing the document. Click on the three dots here and you will see options like download PDF, Preview, Duplicate, Rename, Delete for You, and View Info. You can always check the status of your document under the Documents tab in the left sidebar. With this, our tutorial on HelloSign and how to use the HelloSign platform is complete. This brings this video to an end. We truly hope it has helped you understand HelloSign and its platform. If you have any suggestions or want us to make a video on any specific topic, feel free to comment below. And for more such videos, make sure to stay tuned and stay subscribed to our channel.